Today's date is September 15th, 2020, Tuesday. The time is approximately 10.30 a.m. I am uh, currently on uh, Manitoba Avenue, 419 Manitoba Avenue here. Um, and I am here today, this morning, in memory of uh, Patrick T. Kershane, who was uh, found fatally shot behind this uh, former residence. That was a uh, known crack house that has been operated by my uncle in the uh, Indian Posse and, uh, 13 years ago from today, the anniversary. So, uh, and um, the reason there's uh, some uh, connection and um, involvement in my case in relation to uh, what's why I'm here. I'm not, uh, you know, not here to admit to anything or anything. This is me uh, paying my respect to uh, Patrick Chief Kershaw and, and my mother and my mother as well. And uh, today I've chosen to wear, wear red um, to signify that, uh, well, this was for my mother. My uh, When I uh, was in Stony Mountain, uh, I was going through a wave of uh, police harassment, uh, operations they would call them, but I call them government conspiracies, uh, conspiracies some of them. Uh, one of them would have been the February 9th, 2016th uh, Winnipeg Law Courts building where the uh, Stony Mountain in conjunction with the uh, Winnipeg Law Courts building used approximately 30 to 50 prisoners, brought them over from Stony when I had court that day. And I was supposed to be released on my statutory release into the remand center that day, not, not what happened. So I'm able to prove there was a government conspiracy behind that. Uh, they intimidated and uh, tried to bully me for uh, several hours. And I thought, uh, and plus the things that led to... Uh, to what uh, brought brought us uh, brought me there, them there. It had to do with homicides. Uh, apparently, my uncle Doug, who used to operate this crack house, was being uh, eyed up for approximately uh, six homicides, and that I was being investigated for at least one. Um, I uh, had made some uh, public statements because I was angry, and I knew what they were doing was illegal. Uh, I didn't admit to any like any names or anything, but uh, it went quiet when I said that. And went quiet and it almost sounded like you can hear a pin drop and then after the quietness they came out and said oh you think you're tough because you killed a homeless guy right um that being said i wouldn't have known like i don't know the profiles of uh, the victims and things like that so i wouldn't know what they meant by that but uh, it was later um to me it was uh, most likely to do with the uh, patrick chief kershane homicide um i know i was being pursued by the police for this uh, case um Evidence-wise, I, I, again, I don't want to comment about it too much. But, uh, you know, and what brought me here is the red sweater. Uh, Patrick Chief in his obituary here. He's wearing a red a red uh, sweater. Or, uh, sorry, a red baseball cap there. So I thought... And then, you know, I think there's more... Like, there is more going on with the obituary. But I don't want to talk about that just yet. I think this is going to lead to a major corruption case conspiracy level. But um, again, I'm not here to go on about that. I'm here for uh, Patrick today. But uh, in memory of Patrick and my mother, um, you know, Patrick was wearing a red hat in his obituary here, and it uh, it looked to be that his mother obviously cared about him. She said some said some things in the obituary, but I don't necessarily believe that's the uh, Patrick's uh, family that made that obituary. But with that being said, I'm not going to take any chances, and uh, so uh, out of respect for his mother, if that is her, hopefully it is. Um, I'm wearing this hat today and this red sweater and these and these red shoes in memory of uh, you know Patrick and my mother and uh, the reason for my mother is uh, the law courts building incident I was uh, falsely uh, charged so a conspiracy to prosecute an innocent person for uh, uttering threats towards uh, Josie Dupuy and uh, whoever I never did it I, I denied it I went to trial but uh, what happened is those charges brought me to the Winnipeg Remand Center and uh, within three days of me arriving there, so March 21st, 2016, to March 24th, uh, there was a lot of tension. I can tell that the uh, guards and inmates were uh, more or less probably plotting. Well, they were. They were planning on to uh, jump me. They were going to cause serious harm to me. And I, I didn't. I didn't ask for help. I sat there and I waited until the doors opened, until they made their move, and I fought. And Sure enough, a few of my buddies probably felt bad for me and just said, fuck it, let's go help old Curtis kind of deal. One of those friends are dead, by the way. As soon as he got out of prison, they killed him. Um, so, you know, when I went there, there on false charges, fighting all the way in, all the way out, my mother came there to visit me during one of her first visits, and she wore this sweater, and it broke my heart that uh, she came there, she was throwing up, she was sick, she could barely hold the phone up, and I got mad at her, and I was like, what are you, what are you doing? Like, I was getting mad at her. And all she said to me was, well, I love you, of course, I'm, you know? And 
it, it just breaks my heart that when I was going in there that I was fucking fighting, fucking literally fighting. Like we, I, we fucked that guy up pretty bad, right? And on top of that, you have my mom going there fighting to see her boys, her son. So I'm fucking choked about that. And this red sweater, there's more of a story than to the red sweater. And uh, and I hope it's not as bad as it uh, it is. But uh, so this sweater, I never wear red, and that's the meaning. If anyone was to ask you about uh, Chris and Curtis Hastings. They say, hey, uh, does Curtis ever wear red? We're like, nope, never. You'll never see Curtis wearing red. He, he was a Crip gang member, dark blue and dark. That's his color, and that's it. So, uh, again, I, I take this color now. And plus, it represents missing and murdered, and that's what my mom is at this point. It was a victim of missing and murdered here. So, it uh, goes hand in hand. But, again, specifically for today, this is for uh, Patrick Chief, you know, and I. Uh, I don't know what kind of, exactly everything I said about this case in the past, but I've said a lot of things about a lot of cases that would offend a lot of people. But uh, this one is uh, this one is a bit, um, you know, I, I I didn't mean to offend people, obviously. But um, that being said, I'm so broke, I'm homeless right now. I'm living in my grandmother's backyard in a tent for the last two months, and. I was hoping to buy a candle today and go into, uh, or get a candle. I couldn't find one, but I'm that fucking broke. I'm homeless and I'm doing the stuff that I'm doing, so I'm pretty upset. But I brought some gifts for Patrick, you know, in memory of of uh, what happened to him here and the things, whatever. But uh, this is going to be for Patrick. Uh, Operation Vultures in memory of Patrick Chief Cushane, September 15th, 2020. And that, that'll be for me. I'm also leaving this feather here. This letter, I took the red or the uh, yellow, white, and green and black beads off. This uh, feather came from Lori Dawson. Um, I have reason to believe this feather may have uh, originated from the uh, Winnipeg Law Courts building through uh, Chief Judge Glenn Justice Joel, September 26, 2019. The last thing that my mother seen on the, the news in respect to uh, the courthouse would have been when they were uh, doing the feather thing at the forks and I know there's a picture uh, all I'm gonna say to you to Joel garbage fucking movie pulled on here on me if you don't think I know what photos I took in the past in that area and what you guys are doing with the garbage thing I think you get, and of course you guys are gonna deny it and I won't go any further and keep accusing people of that but uh, that's what I think this was this was a uh, feather from the courthouse to uh, it can go either way. They can turn around and Joel, Joel can turn around and say, Holy, I was trying to be a, uh, you know, a friend. I, I'm trying to send you messages without uh, putting my own life at risk or career at risk. So I don't know. It can go either way, right? So I don't want to say that exactly about the Cordos. That being said, Lori Dawson had also uh, had a t-shirt. So this can be a signifying that uh, the courthouse is getting done in for corruption here. So hopefully crimes against humanity. And um, maybe that's what it is. But... Uh, September 26 also <coughs> represents uh, armed robbery incident I was involved in um, Salisbury House September 2006 26 rather um, shotgun robbery I punched the man in the in the face during the robbery uh, the Crime Stopper reenactment video so they made one of the Salisbury one of the uh, this homicide. Uh, they uh, portrayed a scarf being worn in the robbery. Uh, that's not correct. Um, who's ever uh, that's so but the scarfs here I just seen it in memory of me trooping on and being a soldier I seen that scarf and I had nothing else to really offer so I thought oh I grabbed that for him and I was like oh you know what what, what, what were the chances so um, but yeah the, uh, the, the that has nothing to do with it, it was just uh, the scarf was just there and I want to signify to you know like I said I'm being a soldier about it I'm gonna keep going um, I'm also uh, I don't know if I want to leave this hat kind of like the hat the angry bird hat the reason I bring up the angry bird hat is because, uh, you know, birds are a wonderful thing. It's always good to see a bird one way or another, right? So, and uh, obviously I think of people, birds, you know, <laughs> you know, going on in the next life, things like that. But uh, the reason I brought this hat and this thing is because it appears the uh, persons who may have authored the obituary of Patrick may, have, may not be the persons that they say they are. And if that comes out to be true... I would almost say it looks like parts of the obituary seems a bit uh, questionable and I won't go any further than that at this point. But my concern is if uh, it is what I think it is, the same people that probably authored the obituary probably dropped the book on me somewhere along the way. But I, I, again, I won't go into it that much. And uh, that's why I'm angry. That's what this uh, hat is about is it's uh, you know, some angry fucking birds going on, right? I mean, this is pretty pretty horrible what they're doing. So I'm also going to leave these behind for Patrick. 
So my mother, this would have been the feather that came with it. Well, fun Lori. Um, and I just wanted to show that. And I just wanted uh, Patrick's family or friends ever hear about this. Uh, I think about this guy every day. Same with uh, these other people, my mom. And uh, you guys may think I'm fucking bad. I mean, I was adrenaline bad, but this is fucking scumbag bad. What these fucking assholes are doing to us, teasing us, happy birthdaying us. So, but uh, with that being said, I just want people to know that I think about this fella every day, every day, and that uh, this hospital cup that was given to my mother, or my mother made me take this home from the Grace Hospital. She told me it was a good cup, take it home. So you know, obviously I took it home and. Sitting there, and oh, look what it evolved into since that time. And I made this cup August 7th. August 6th, I was being harassed by a laser device on my penis and testicles all day, and I was planning on delivering mail packages that day. So whoever was doing that, I would say that high treason and espionage and other things there. But uh, again, this hospital cup, I need straws. You know, I was gonna go to White Top, but nah, I think I could find another place to keep it real, eh? So, but uh, again, in memory of my mother as well, she's a victim of a homicide here. As for the other photos here, July 9th, that uh, reminds me of my grandparents, or my great-grandmother rather, uh, uh, Agnes Demery. Uh, Nathan O'Brien, he reminds me of my nephew, uh, Christopher Hastings. So, Pat, uh, Kevin Tukarchuk reminds me of my little brother, uh, Brayden. A good kid wakes up just to live life and doesn't think about any bad things happening to him. And yeah, police corruption and organized crime found Kevin. So I'm uh, pretty choked about that one when I sit there and I do the math and how these fucking assholes get together and the conspiracies they fucking do to target our fucking families on our birth dates or anniversary dates. Yeah, I'm fucking coming for you guys, fucking scumbags. So anyways, um, there's a major case, I won't get into it, but anyone that wants to take credit for this homicide, or not this homicide, but uh, if they don't know the facts and they're trying to cover up what happened here, I'm pursuing you guys for uh, conspiracy level corruption, including accessory to murder after the fact. So, But I'm going to put this phone down, and I uh, just uh, go in the back and go to some of this stuff. Oh, and then, oh, another photo that I forgot. So people can make sense of what I'm doing here. <clears throat> so, in respect to the Patrick Chief, I'm going alleged major corruption, honestly, but uh, this was the first front page news article that it was ever uh, authored towards me and my brother when we were kids. That's not the car in question, it's a different article. Um, but uh, there's Patrick and things like that, right? So, when I say they t-shirted my mom, that's, that's what I meant right here. They... I won't get to talk about it too, too much right now, but they're teasing us. That's my mom's t-shirt and you know, I've been through. Okay, so, and what pisses me off is if you see the photo of me and my mom, I was stunned that they did this to us. Stunned that I was trying to, you know, rehabilitate myself, if you will, or make myself better and just, you know, live life and they fucking came in drop this stuff on me so I'm pretty fucking upset about that and I feel for Patrick's family one way or another it doesn't matter right so show exactly oh I thought this is funny I just wanted to show that uh, that looks like my brother Braden's dad Randy Lewis and he gave me a key the last time when he left <laughs> I thought you know I thought that was so cool and here's a this is his Randy's work knife I'm not joking, that's Randy's work knife, you guys. He used to work at Rehaw, Rehaw for uh, many, many years. And I thought this was fucking hilarious when I seen this. Right, and I, I don't want to show that, or maybe you guys got a glimpse. There's a photo of my mom there with some, most people would be freaked out by it, but they're dropping, they're teasing us, and they're being degrading acts at the funeral home. Uh, my mother's urine here, right, that color aqua actually means something. I won't get into it now, but it makes me mad, and that's them trying to bully me, intimidate me, and I want to show them that, fuck, you fucked up the wrong guy, they think you're going to fucking do that to me, and think that, you know, fuck you, I'm sicker than you are, you piece of shit, sorry, but anyways, <laughs> you know, that's, uh, there it is, that's Randy's knife, I thought that was cool, 
for that. And I apologize for anyone that's seen that photo. It's uh, disturbing, but I'm sending that out to the people that uh, that did this to our families here, and they can see what kind of fucking birthdays they got coming on their fucking way. They're fucking wish list, you piece of shit. <laughs> fucking tease me, my family, when I'm trying to do a noble fucking thing for our fucking country and city. Trying to make a few wrongs are right here, and this is what you guys fucking do to me? Fuck yous. This is a shit. Same with that clown. Michael Fox. Karen Fulham. They're committing major fraud, so. I feel so bad because I don't have a candle and I want to, you know, if these people were to wake up and see the candle, they knew someone was there remembering Patrick, but I'm homeless. I'm being homeless as a result of a conspiracy from the Justice, uh, Justice Department police and it's that fucking bad where I can't even you know, afford a simple thing. But hey, I'm still here though, right? would be the area where uh, Patrick was found shot. I believe he was found shot to death right here. Um, I pretty well know the full story, but I won't uh, discuss it right here. I'm sipping to be a major case, I suspect. <laughs> I should have brought something, but this So again, I just wanted to show... Patrick. That's for Patrick. This is two, right here. Maybe, maybe I'll come back for this stuff later if it's still here. Get that feather here. Put these here for me. Uh, this will also be there for him as well. Again, yeah. Uh, the Salisbury thing, I wasn't a scarf, so I don't want people thinking I'm trying to be funny or nothing. This is in memory of uh, the C CJS High Treason Task Force. One member right now, but I suspect I'll get deep. And right here. That's what that is, so hopefully there's no confusion about that. I hear with the utmost respect. Got a candle, maybe I'll find one later, but...
Duffy. There's a central mine I'll find me this uh, thing. People would laugh at it. Look that big. So again, be here. Sure, bud. <laughs> I think that's pretty well about it. Crime Stopper video depicts that uh, he was found uh, there. Um, again, I think it, uh, I know it was the back door. The day I got out from Brandon, this is how bad our neighborhood used to be with gangs. Uh, between the IPs, I wasn't out that much. They didn't let me out that much. It was too bad, I guess. I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> oh, look at that squirrel. But yeah, the day I got out, the police did a uh, tactical raid here, smashed out the front windows, threw stun grenades. This is a bad spot. It was also notoriously known for the uh, IPs. Before going to jail, <coughs> how, uh, I know so well about this, this newer looking kind of residence used to be a uh, former shack with T.T. Thomas Roy Phillips and uh, he was uh, shot to death on Magnus Avenue, shot in the head and uh, they firebombed the house later from what I'm being told and they went moving over next door um, and then uh, I, I guess the IPs just slowly got in there. But it should be noted, when you look at the drug history, the police corruption involved in this case, and you look at, where is it close by? Down by a school here. And they never shut those shacks down. So I'm almost led to believe that made, uh, you know, a lot of investments for uh, police there. But again, I don't uh, want to talk about it too much. When I started smoking, I stopped smoking weed. I'm weird. I didn't see that coming. I just stopped smoking I started blacking out yesterday I seen this truck reminds me of a guy who was trying to stare me down in that truck um, I don't know there used to be a chick that lived on the street back in the day that had a bike her uncle or something uh, Lindsay I think her name was um, childhood friend hopefully but I've seen her at the health science center when I went to uh, the St. Boniface so I think that might be her uncle I'm not sure Anyways, I'm gonna cut it off, leave it here. Got plenty of work to do.